Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group weekly update for the week ending December the 17th, 2021. It's been a lackluster week uh, of up and down sideways trading uh, as investors digest. Well, everybody really was waiting for the FOMC Wednesday. Had a nice rally after Wednesday and then uh, the profit taking, in my opinion, and, and selling for tax purposes uh, seems to be mode of the day. Uh, for this week. We'll see how next week and, and the week following to close out the quarter and the year turn out to be, but that's what it looks like uh, right now and trying to uh, rally back up, but for overall all, all the indexes are, are, are down to slightly down for the week. Uh, really no trend in the S&P 500 uh, uh, or, or the Russell 1000. Uh, the broad market Russell 3000, really no trends, sideway trade, a lot of volatility uh, the, the NASDAQ and small mid caps are indicating a, a, a weak downtrend, but a downtrend nonetheless. And, and the small caps, that's, that's tending to uh, strengthen uh, absent uh, some change. So small mid caps going to be a little bit dicey here as these rates uh, concern keeps going on. So where to turn in these, in these turbulent times? Where to turn for... Uh, more performance in these turbulent times. Most of the conventional portfolios are set up 60-40. So you got 60% equities, 40% fixed income or bonds. Okay, and we see this a lot when people bring in their uh, their statements uh, for analysis. And I would put to you that right now the only place one can be in bonds, if at all, or in very short duration because uh, the all bonds right now are going to be in short duration plays. That's not going to bode well for uh, fixed income alternative as you uh, go into, uh, I didn't mean to say alternative, but it doesn't bode well for fixed income as you move into retirement because you're actually taking that money instead of just uh, using it to stabilize performance or juice a little bit of a performance in your portfolio. And so an alternative to the pure 40% allocation would be what uh, we term uh, bond alternatives uh, here in the office, and that's any index-based product, uh, indexed, uh, fixed index-based products. So what we're looking for is, uh, and, and I won't get into the mechanics of how fixed index work on this video, our online university, I, I have a class on that. You can look there at assetguidancegroup.com and the online university. There's a class on it there. I go into it about uh, 15, 20 minutes, and I, I, on our on our college classroom uh, courses, I, I routinely uh, explain how, how the mechanics of indexing works. Suffice it to say that you're more on a stair step. When you have these volatile weeks, you're not losing money. You're not, you're not taking the downturn hits, okay? You just stay steady. And so when the index is turned down, you just, you, zero's your hero. You don't make anything, but you don't lose anything. You don't lose any, any principle, most importantly. But you also, uh, as a bonus, you don't lose any gains. All right, that you've already locked in uh, at, at, at your, as of your last strategy move. So, as the markets uh, in, increase again, then your your interest starts uh, going, picking back up, and your value and your gains resume. And that's why the fixed index is a great alternative to bond markets because look, if you're in bonds, you're very very uh, duration is a is a technical term used to, to remark about how sensitive uh, bond yields are or bond returns are to uh, interest rate movements, bond prices uh, to interest rate movements. Everything's going to be extremely sensitive right now uh, uh, to these uh, higher rates as we go along. Look. Right now, the 10-year hit 139 again today. The 10-year break-even inflation tips, those Treasury securities, inflation-protected Treasury securities, are at 250 to 60 to 80. So you take that 140 from 280, you're losing a point and a half. You're losing 1.4% just by inflation, just on the inflation trade. So it's not a place you have to be, and, and, or you can afford to be, if, especially if you're playing for retirement, unless you're extremely well healed in your portfolio. Now, look, if you're going to get any kind of yield or any kind of return on those bonds investment on that fixed index uh, platform, that you're going to have to get into poor, uh, corporate bonds, and, and to be sure, there's uh, corporate bonds may be some performance very, very, very selective in there. But, but here's the thing 
you're adding on so much risk. It may not be readily apparent to you, but so much risk. Because as, uh, as inflation increases and as we move forward, the risk of recession increases along with it. That means the increase, uh, increased risk of default uh, goes hand in hand. So that, that's too much risk if you're uh, a mom and pop investor and if you're, if you're getting ready for retirement or if you're in retirement. All right, that's too much or, or if you're close to retirement. So why not go the fixed index route whatever type of product that it may be, forget the exact vehicle, but one that's based on fixed index strategies. Why not take a look at those with an open mind? Because if you're going to be exposed to market pressure and you're not in a fixed, ex, a fixed index environment, but you can make returns uh, that are, are uh, akin to equity returns. So if you're going to have to have those kinds of returns, all right, why not do it with a reduced risk exposure, little to no risk, okay, and 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 get equity uh, index types of return. We're talking four to six percent, very reasonable, safe and productive rates of return based upon those types of indexes going forward. So we would uh, ask you to to consider out of that forty percent that you've got car carved out of your conventional portfolio, consider twenty percent or half or more up to the full 40% to look at fixed index based uh, vehicles in order to give you those same 46% and take the risk off the table and then you can take a greater amount of risk with your 60% you have allocated to equities and really rock out. All right, we're looking for Santa Claus. Where is Santa Claus? I'll see you next week on Christmas Eve. And so on until next time, I wish you the best of the holiday season. Have fun and stay happy.